Welcome to St John's for the last weekly update for 2021. Uh, it's been a really constructive year in the life of the cathedral uh, due to the way the community of faith that bases itself here has responded to the complexities of COVID and the complexities of life, really. So thank you to all of you who have been part of St John's community in any way over the last 12 months. It's been an absolute privilege to walk the way with you. Many of us have enjoyed a really slow week this week and the rest has certainly been welcome. Uh, COVID hasn't left us yet, of course, and 2022 will be even more complex than 2021 because now we're entering into the phase where COVID is in the midst of community and that will lead to even more complexity in terms of how we live our lives and how we interact, how the presence of COVID in society will affect people's behaviours. And so uh, 2022 promises to be a year of great complexity as well. But as we got through 2021 together, so we will get through 2022 with whatever emerges um, for us to deal with. In terms of our life here at St John's, our weekend worship continues. So we have a five o'clock service on a Saturday evening, 7.30 and 9.30 on a Sunday morning. Uh, the only difference being that uh, the 9.30 is a sung Eucharist rather than a choral Eucharist, which means that we, the people, are the choir. And then Sunday evening, uh, we have a said evening prayer service a really beautiful way to finish a Sunday. Uh, those who gather um, come and sit in the choir stalls. It's a very intimate, beautiful way to finish a Sunday. Uh, sung even songs resume on Sunday the 30th of January. This coming Sunday we celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany, uh, transferred from the 6th. Um, that's why today I'm surrounded by the wise ones. Uh, because the Feast of the Epiphany is all about the wise ones visiting the Christ. In terms of other activities, uh, coffee on Tuesdays continues. There's no interruption to coffee on Tuesdays at all, so it's Tuesdays at 10.30. Uh, the meditation group recommences this coming Tuesday on the 4th of January. Cows re will resume on Wednesday the 12th of January and the journey group, uh, an opportunity on a Sunday afternoon to reflect on how faith and life intersect, an offering that occurs entirely on Zoom uh, that will uh, commence on Sunday the 16th of January. Other activities will begin to take place as uh, we move from January into February and you can find full details in the summer edition of Community News, which is available on the website or in hard copy here in the cathedral and by consulting the What's On page of the cathedral website. As you would be aware, Archbishop Desmond Tutu died a few days ago. Uh, the community of St John's had the privilege of hosting him uh, during the completion phase of the cathedral. People still have very fond memories of his presence amongst us. He was certainly a great inspiration to many of us. He had that really deep engagement with the Eucharist that led him to a deep engagement with the poor and a deep understanding that every human is made in the image of God, which led him to say that apartheid was blasphemy. And also he said that uh, homophobia was blasphemy because it diminishes the image of God uh, as found in the people who are persecuted. He was a great inspiration to me personally. I know many people in our community held him in the highest of regard. And so to uh, honour his legacy and to remind ourselves that we are called to uh, continue his legacy, we are hosting a service here on Tuesday, the 4th of January at 10 o'clock. Please do come and reflect on the beauty and the wonder of the life of Desmond Tutu. And as we do so, um, I'm really mindful of the fact that um, 
it's quite troubling that he was seen as such a wonderful figure when all he did was preach the gospel and live the gospel, which does uh, beg some questions as to the way the church is perceived and the message the church sometimes offers to the world. And so we move to the celebrations for this week. Uh, Coralie Kettles has a significant birthday in the next couple of days. We also say happy birthday to David Arrowsmith and to Tom Finn. Hope you all have a really great day and that people celebrate you as one made in the image and likeness of God. Thanks again for all that you have offered to the cathedral community in this very complex year. Thank you for continuing to support the ministry through your prayers and your financial offerings. Uh, thank you for the gift of your human presence. It's one of the things that Tutu uh, made a real thing about was that people actually are really important to one another, that the gift of community is really important and that we each reveal the face of God to one another. Peace be with you.